Hey everyone, welcome back to Drone's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at Middle Earth Shadow of War for the PC. This is the sequel to Shadow of Mordor that came out... Oh, when was it? Was it 2015, I think? Two years ago now? Uh, this is uh, developed by Monolith Productions and published by Warner Brothers Games, and it was released on Steam on October 9th, 2017. Trigger price is $80 Canadian, so I think it's 60 or 70 US. Anyway, this is going to be a... Uh, spoiler free video. I'm not going to do anything with the story. I have played about two hours so far just to kind of get a feel for the game. Uh, I'm just going to kind of run around, um, like claim the towers, like uh, like Assassin's Creed towers and stuff like that. Fight a couple of orcs, like when you have a look at like a, a captain or whatever. Let's hop into it. Okay, we are in. So you can probably see in the top left there's this little black square. It's just a weird bug that I'm having with the game. Um, it's something to do with NVIDIA drivers and Ansel and this game, like it only shows up in this game. Um, I've updated my drivers, it went away for a bit. Uh, I restarted my computer, it went away for a bit and now it's back, which is really annoying, but I can't do anything about it. Okay, I've just dropped graphics down from ultra to medium just to make sure there's no like stuttering or anything, because that'd be annoying. Um, but it runs like perfectly 60 FPS. Um, on ultra graphics for me when I'm playing with a GTX 1070, so it's pretty good. Um, right now, we can hopefully have a look at the map. So, this is our local map right now. If we go to the world map, we can see this is this is the place I'm at right now, Kirith Ungol. And then over here we have Minas Ithil, which is a nice Gondor place. Uh, that's where we started, we've only just got into here. But you can see the map is pretty large. <laughs> it is very big. I've got just a tiny bit of it unlocked so far. Um, so far, I definitely prefer over here. It's like outdoors. You can see the sky. This is all underground and kind of, kind of yucky. But if we go back to our region map, uh, this is where we are. Now, what we can do is we can look for, uh, like a little eye of Sauron. So we got one here, and we've got one over here. Let's head over to this one. So we're going to mark that. Uh, what you can do with these is you can fast travel. So that's like a story quest there. Uh, we've got like targets, captains and stuff. There's, there's lots of stuff to do. We can actually fast travel to there apparently. We can set our waypoints. So yeah, you'll see what getting the, the, the fast travel points like. So it's like 2,000 feet away. Uh, like if you played the first one you know what this game's like but like you can just do anything in this you can jump from any height whatsoever <laughs> you can climb anything you want it's really very very fun let's shoot this guy ham headshot oh let's blow up those barrels behind him bam <laughs> sweet <laughs> so you definitely feel uh, I feel very powerful in this game <laughs> it's very cool and we can, you can just bounce like up wherever. Oh, man, we're ready. So we're gonna run at him. Eh. Oh. I was trying to, trying to tackle him off, but that was pretty cool, I guess. Okay, let's, let's try and get there, because it is gonna take us a while to get there. Alright, I just unlocked that skill that lets me do a little dive in the air. That's cool. <laughs> bounce. It's nice that it gives you little tool tips all the time. Is anybody up here? Um, maybe I care. Oh shit! <laughs> maybe I care about. Bam! Oh, shit, I missed him. Sneaky, sneaky. We can blow up this one if we want. I think we can like poison them if we go over here. No. Oh shit! Oh. Oh. Douche. Douche. <laughs> okay, so he's immune to ranged attacks. Ooh, okay. Okay, he's arrowproof, whatever. Hunters keep their distance attack with thro thrown spears, but they're weak in close combat. Okay. Well. Oh shit, he just took me down. <laughs> he's one of the elites, so he can attack me pretty easily. Or so he can, he can like, dodge my attacks pretty easily. 
a regular one would not be able to dodge like this. Oh, he's almost dead. You can tell it's a lot of butter mashing, but I actually really like that. I really like the uh, like Arkham style. Boom! He's fucking dead. So it's, like, it's like Arkham style in that you like bounce between your opponents. One of Mordor's assassins. There will be others. What do we get? A nice dagger. Oh, so I, I had a level one dagger equipped. I had this one equipped, and now I've got this level five. Sweet. Cool. Okay, let's keep going. <laughs> we see you guys. Nobody really cares. <laughs> it's nice. You can pretty much like outrun anything you want to run away from. Oh, what's this? Oh, so that guy is a treasure orc. Shit. Uh oh. Execute. Oh, beautiful. Let's just grab that quickly. Got it. Um, so the microtransactions in the game, I have not come across any of them yet, so I just can't speak about them. I can't speak about how bad they are. Apparently they're pretty egregious, like you like buy orcs or something for your army. Like I said, I'm two hours in. I was hoping that would be far enough to be able to see like quite a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, I haven't seen anything about microtransactions yet. I have the, I have Shadow of War Gold Edition, which comes with like the the season pass and a starter bundle, which I think comes with some currency and stuff. Um, let's get some intel on him. Tuka, terrified of Karagors. Cool. These are all the things we can look at. Days from sworn by more guy, more guy flies. Neat. We don't need to worry about him yet. So yeah, can't talk about the um, microtransactions from a personal standpoint, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I've heard they're pretty bad, so not a fan of that. Oh, what was that? Ooh, Kaiser. <gasps> We're outside at Kirithungal. Hooray! It was quite dull being in that cave. Especially because you can't really climb things in a cave. God, it is going to take us forever to get over there. Uh, the, the guys with green above them, you can interrogate them and learn intel on a captain. Which is what I just did to the last guy. So let's do it again. And it looks like I just unlocked the ability to do death threats. Which is kind of cool. I don't really know what it is, but we've done it. <laughs> so that's nice. And, oh, oh right, I left him alive. I was like, why didn't I kill him? Whoa. Okay, come on then, buddy. Tackle. Oh, I missed him. Didn't get enough of a run up. He is dead. Oh, shit. <laughs> See ya. I will escape. No problem, thank you. Okay, we're actually getting quite close to this tower. Is this it right here? Yeah, we're here. Cool. That. Just a little torch. I have a cool ability where I can like aim at a fire and then just like teleport into it, smash it, and it'll just light everybody on fire. <laughs> Nobody here. Wow. See, he can just climb anything he wants. It's cool. Bam. So we're up at the top here. We will purify or cleanse the Sauron Tower. And we'll turn it blue. It's still, it's still an Eye of Sauron, but it's much nicer. And then you have like this little mini game where you have to point at all the things. Um, where is it? There we go. So we still need uh, one more thing. Uh, we still need four more things to find. They're all kind of in the same area. Aha. Boom. 
Cool. And now this is ours. So now we can fast travel between this one and the one at the beginning. And actually, that is the best way to save in this game. It doesn't autosave very often, and it doesn't actually give you an indicator when it's autosaving. Um, so I just, like, I assumed it would be saving constantly. It does not do that. You can actually lose a lot of progress if you just exit the game without doing this. So the best way to do it is just to fast travel. So you can do that with uh, these points, or I guess, like, the entrance to a map. So let's actually go down here and get this one as well. Because I quite like those parts of the game. I like running around like, um, woo, like Assassin's Creed style and unlocking them. That was like my favorite thing to do in Far Cry. Lol. There we go. Oh shit! So when he's down on the ground or with stars, I can do a like a sneak attack and just straight up kill him. Oh, he's alive. Wee. But pretty much, like, if you get in a bad situation, you just run away. And you can pretty easily run away from things. Karagora. Eh. Oh, shit, I tried to execute it. Okay, I think if we get, like, behind it or something, we can mount it. We, have to, we probably have to dodge it first. I don't really know what I'm doing with mounting. Maybe it's a skill you have to unlock. Bam. Okay, whatever. Keep running. Some more characters somewhere. Oh yeah, and if I need health, um, I can, instead of interrogating an orc or whatever, I can just drain his life, which will heal me instantly, which is very cool. But obviously, like, it takes a little bit of time to do it. Hey, buddy. So, like, he can't do anything, but anybody else can attack me during that. Bam. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. See, so, yeah, you can get interrupted doing that, which is quite dangerous. Ooh, there's a Gondorian artifact somewhere. So, if we go into the spirit realm... I guess it's that over there, I think. I'm not too worried about it for now. You can also use that to, like, mark a captain. So there's one over there. Douche. Ah, another douche. He's arrow proof. He's enraged by poison. He is a berserker. He's a flame, we flame weapon. Okay, we don't have any intel on him. So maybe we can kind of sneak around. Fuck. And find something to interrogate. It's so hard to aim this. Um with a controller. Really hard. I guess this is this is quite good actually, because I'll be able to show um Oh, he's dead. <gasps> yeah, he's dead. Like how you can disappear. So there's nobody tracking me right now. So if somebody's got eyes on you, you can um, oh, I guess we can destroy this. Is this the one to destroy? No, we destroy that thing. Um, like, if somebody was looking at me, I could disappear up here, and I'd leave, like, a little outline on the edge, and that would be, like, where they last saw me. Uh, eh? Uh, just destroy it? There we go. Woo! Ooh, what's this? Intel? Gem. Fuck! Okay, so they're tracking me now. Oh shit. Oh, what fiery scorching delights await you! I didn't need to identify him. Shit. An enemy's raising the alarm. Where? Oh, that guy. I don't have any elf shot. Shit. See if I can kill him. Yeah. Oh, why? Fuck, I was so close. You 
you fucking asshole. Oh, that one, the fire's not on. Shit. Does anyone have any fires on? This is a pretty bad place to be in. Oh, those aren't going to blow up. Ah. Shit. Okay, let's see if we can disappear up here. There we go. So that's where they last saw me. Hmm. Ah, oh, shit, they saw me. I want to go in interrogate this guy if I can. Which I can, apparently. So who am I at? Douche? This guy. Uh, he's got a fear of burning. He's damaged by executions, explosions, and stealth attacks. Okay, he's damaged by stealth attacks. Which means if I just hide somewhere, I can do like a stealth attack on him. Fuck! So I just gotta try and disappear somewhere. There's so many of them. This might not work. Climb, please. Okay, now we just wait for whoever comes up here. Oh, actually, if I can just target him. Oh, fuck. Okay, that is not gonna happen. Yeah, this is just not a good place to be, I don't think. I mean, like, I could try, like, fighting them all, and it might happen eventually. Does that do anything? No. Oh, shit. I'm on fire. Run. <laughs> oh, there's so many coming. Oh, no. Maybe I can hide over here somewhere. Oh, I didn't even realize this guy was here. Let's stealth drain him. Should give me some health back. They are literally like all on this bridge. Okay. So where do they think I last was? I don't think they have any idea actually. Hmm. <laughs> I could free this Karagor. That broke him out, right? Yeah. Do they think I'm around here? Oh shit, they do actually. Can I climb up though? Is the Karagor doing some cool stuff? A little bit. Whee! See, I thought I could stealth kill him. Oh shit, he's actually taking some damage. Oh shit. Oh no, I'm stunned. Uh, whoa, okay. Cool. <laughs> The last place they saw me was in the air. Okay. <laughs> Need to kind of find someone like isolated so I can heal off them. There's like that archer over there. He could probably kill me though.
Oh, hello. go intel hopefully it heals me as well so i don't really need the intel yes it did oh shit does that count yep <laughs> hmm if i could lure them over here i could oh i don't have any arrows to shoot that that nest down looks like some of them are given up okay they think i've gone <laughs> He's just like hiding underneath. It's really annoying. Here we go. Oh, I did it. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> okay, now he drops something. I don't know if I'm going to be able to grab it. Got it. Flee. What? Another one? Oh, shit. I'll make you beg for death. Hush, Grish. It means poison. Comes in rage at the side of ghouls. Oh boy. So I guess he he got elevated because I killed that last guy. Interesting. So I think I just need to kind of disappear now and I can like fast travel to save my game. It's like, can I just fast travel away? Yes, I can, which will save my game. So there you go, that was a look at uh, Middle Earth Shadow of War. I gave up on Shadow of Mordor after about eight hours, I think it was, because I just got fed up with how long some of the fights took. But I think they might have improved on it a little bit. Like, I am still kind of near the beginning of the game, like two hours played. But I managed to kill that guy pretty good. Like, you just have to be a bit patient, it looks like. So hopefully they've improved on that. I don't know. Um, I guess we'll see as I get further into the game. But yeah, I've been really enjoying it so far. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!